Code Orange featuring Billy Corgan of the Smashing Pumpkins. I've been waiting for this. Been really curious what this would sound like. One of my favorite new bands with someone from one of my favorite old bands. Okay, more weirdness. They're getting really into the whole like student film thing. <laughs> okay. Liking a beat already. Kind of Nine Inch Nails. Really upping the production quality on video again. I really like that every song has been, like, different. Like, I never know exactly what to expect from these guys. Well, grungy, too. Kind of 90s vibe. This is like Jamie doing a Reba song, really. Okay, I was gonna say. I need Reba to get in on these vocals. Okay. Oh, that was kind of fun. God, that bass. It's <laughs> a gnarly effect. Solid song. It's a little funny because I see a little bit of like falling in reverse kind of energy coming into it. The song's way better, I think. It worries me a little bit, I guess. Oh, nice obituary shirt. Sure. They're like full 90s gear, too. The jeans with the chop knees, the bleach blonde hair. I like the effect on Reba's vocals too. Oh, here's Billy. Billy boy. Was he not available for the video? <laughs> Billy has such a unique voice. Fun to imitate too. Insert Stephen Lynch routine. Where the fuck are my car keys? They were right here in my hand. I hope he gets in on the chorus too. I feel like we need some some screamy Billy Corgan too. Pretty catchy too, as usual. That was cool. I dig it. So yeah, Code Orange, Take Shape, featuring Billy Corgan. Again, my kind of like old 90s, like Smashing Pumpkins, I attribute to being like one of the earlier sort of influences on me getting into heavier music way back in the day. Still love those early Smashing Pumpkins albums like Gish. Melancholy is one of the few double albums that I really enjoy, like just, just good stuff all around. I like the vibe of it. I think it's a well-written song. Do I miss some of the vibes from Forever, which is just like a barn burner and just like pummels you into the ground? Like a little bit, but I still have Forever, right? And then Underneath was its own thing. Really enjoyed that. I kind of appreciate that each thing has been different. They, they've had a misstep here and there for me, but that's fine. Like that's the nature of experimenting. And yeah, I think overall... I really like what they're doing with this track. I'm kind of interested to hear when the whole album comes together. This is obviously different from the other singles they put out too, so it could be another pretty eclectic release. I think the only band that like makes me even more intrigued at what they're going to do next is actually The Armed, who are also uh, going to be dropping another album soon and put out another single. Their albums are like completely different <laughs> like it's it's insane it's been interesting to watch them so a little shout out for the armed if you haven't checked them out just be prepared they go into very non-metal territory like their last album was like hyper pop it was even called ultra pop <laughs> weird stuff but yeah in terms of like grading this just on a first reaction i'd probably give it like a it's at least an eight for enjoyability, I'll give it a little bit of time to settle in. I don't want to like overgrade it, but it's at least an eight. It's kind of leaning towards like an eight point five, at least in terms of musicianship. Kind of like an eight on that front. It, it's like slightly above average, but nothing too incredible there. Like pretty typical kind of nineties grungy guitars. I did like the little vocal effects and the bass effect and a lot of cool stuff going on there in terms of how they're producing the song. So I think that's what makes it a little bit more interesting. I liked the Corgan feature. I kind of wished we had gotten a little bit of screamy Corgan on like the final chorus or something like that. I think that would have been the chef's kiss moment to really cap this thing off. But 
yeah, overall pretty good. And then in terms of innovation, like in the scope of music, it's not that innovative. But for them, it this is another kind of unique thing in their their oeuvre, their oeuvre, oeuvre however you pronounce that word. I always forget. <laughs> yeah, so maybe like a eight, seven point five, something in that range. So I think overall, just being totally just sort of straightforward with this thing, first reaction, give it a, give it a solid B. I think overall. Um, again, I'm really interested within the context of the album. I would have liked a little bit more Reba on the track too, because she's like the master of these tracks. That track she did with uh, Greg Puchato on his last solo album too was so good, so good. That was like a like '80s pop song, beautiful, fantastic. But yeah, let me know what you think. As always, down in the comments below. Check out all the other reactions I've got. Check out the main channel. I've got reviews of Code Orange and all sorts of related stuff. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.